Hey guys, it's Alex and today we're going to talk about O2 sensors, right to the subject, no messing around. So, a lot of people that are out there wanting to mod their car, they go ahead and start removing emissions components and what happens when you start doing that? Uh, you start getting check engine lights and depending on your tuner, some will turn them off, some won't. But some of you go out there on Facebook popping off saying, well, if your tuner's not willing to turn off codes, fuck your tuner, get another tuner. Okay, whatever. Look, <clears throat> a lot of tuners out there need to stay in business and they need to stay off of certain government people's radars. So if they're not willing to do something that is illegal or deemed bad for business, they're not going to do it. Now, is your car running badly? Probably not. If you take your cats off and you have cat inefficiency codes, why does that happen? Well, this is how it happens. The front O2 sensor, also the wideband on Coyote cars, reads certain gases, okay? And then the rear O2 sensor has to read a different set. Basically, this sniffs one thing, this has to read something, this has to sniff something different because there's a cat in the middle. So, sniff, cat, gotta be different over here, right? Makes sense. But the moment the rear O2 sensor reads the same as the front O2 sensor, meaning there's an issue with the cat or it's missing, it'll kick a light. It'll kick a light like a 420 or a 430 cat inefficiency code. That's what kind of comes up on Coyote Mustangs. Well, that's pretty common on people that remove the catalytic converter. Some tuners will shut that off. Some tuners will shut off the rear O2s. People like me will not because we want to stay in business. We want to stay off of certain government's radar. We have to be legit. Now, if you can somehow make the rear O2 read different than the front, read between the lines there. I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but think of Cobra. Think of Cobra, O3 or 4 Cobra. Big hint there, okay? <clears throat> now, the problem is you go on Facebook and people start popping off saying that your tuner sucks, your tuner doesn't know what he's doing, catalytic converter protection is still enabled and then it's running rich, <clears throat> so he, he doesn't know what he's doing, get another tuner, I'm telling you get another tuner, man, this tuner's stupid, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. That's the kind of shit you hear on Facebook. Look, some tuners are not willing to turn off <clears throat> the cat codes and they want to stay in business and it's up to you whether you want to do business with them or not. A lot of you guys are complaining about the light. Meanwhile, most of you are running around with every light lit up, whether it be brake, ABS, TPMS lights, all, all, all over the place, but that check engine light scares you. You know what? If it scares you that bad, check the codes. Some of you will say, well, how do I know something else isn't wrong? If the car starts running a little differently, something's up, okay? Tunes don't all of a sudden go bad. They don't just go corrupt all of a sudden, okay? You can have the battery off of the car for a week, two weeks, plug it in, tune's still gonna be there, okay? So don't think the tune is going bad. If the, star, if the car starts chugging and acting different, check the codes, real simple. So, to recap this very, very short video about O2 sensors and how they work. Front O2s read gases, rear O2s have to read different gases than the front O2s to, to be good. If they read the same as the front, kicks a light. If you take your cat off, it reads the same. It's gonna kick a light if your tuner is not looking to shut it off and you can't blame him for wanting to stay in business, okay? It has nothing to do with catalytic converter protection. It has nothing to do with them being lazy. It has everything to do with them wanting to stay in business and, not, and, and stay off of the government's radar, period. It's not gonna run badly. It just might have a code. Thanks for listening, guys. I'm gonna keep this one under four minutes because I'm not looking to make money. I'm just looking to educate. Thanks a lot, guys.